Hi guys, this is going to be a freestyle type chit chat type video. I don't think I've had many videos like this uh, before. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, so, what do we have going on today? I was filling my nails. I was going to do this one on camera with you. What else was I doing? I was stamping. Guys, look. Listen to my hand. You can't hear nothing, can you? I have been struggling with this hand for so long because it sounds like a really, really, or it sounded like a really, really bad door. You know how you have a really creaky door and it just won't be quiet until you oil it up, until you lubricate it up? This hand was there. No matter which way, even if I did the slightest movement like this. So I think she was just very, very, very tight in there. And what I did was. No, well, she's probably leaking oil from all over the place now. But that's good, girl, because you need some oil around the cuticles anyway. <laughs> no, but I am. Um, what I did was, is I was like, okay, I'm so, oh, sorry guys, I've gone to, I was like, I'm getting tired of, of that noise. And every time I show you guys something, like I want to show you this foil and stamping that I just did. This was like a, really? All right, I got to get used to this. Hold on guys. Okay, I had to put you in a different, different view guys, because I kept bumping you much better. Okay, I apologize. So. This is an A stamp design here that I did. But anyway, so so every time I want to work with her, when I work with her on you know on my own, I don't really mind. But when I'm on camera and I want to show you guys, you know, look like what I've done, she'll make a really bad creaky noise. Like really, really, really bad. I couldn't move nowhere without it going. <laughs> so what I did was, if you have this nail trainer or if you have a nail trainer like it, really, really quickly, quick trick. Look, she still is making a little bit at the base there. You see, and she's still a little creaky in here. But she needs some oil, guys. She needs to, especially if you don't use it too often. I use my nail trainer, but I don't probably use it as often as I should. So, lift this up, guys, because this moves. And what you're going to do, see if I can get a good angle. Right in here, where this metal connects to the hand, you're going to get some oil right down in there. But you got to make sure that it gets contact with the metal. Because if you just put it on the plastic, you're not really doing anything. Make sure that you get in the ring around it. And then once you get it in there, Start moving it around. Move it around so that the oil can get moved around in there. The same thing you do here, you're going to do at the base here. See down here? Down there, you can probably see I have a little bit of oil down there. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to move it around. And eventually, you will see that look. It's still a little little bit, but it was. It, trust me, it's not half as bad as what it was. So when I'm working on my nail art, I don't have to hear that. And when you guys, you know, when I'm recording with you guys, it doesn't have to sound like that. So that's just something that I kind of discovered. So let me just fix this metal piece so she can stay out of my way a little bit. All right, guys, so I don't know what we're going to do. I have some foil stamping polishes. I have my stamper out. I do have a plate that I may want to kind of review. I haven't reviewed this one yet, and it was part of a set that I received a while ago. These are the images on it. I love because they have words right down here but it's kind of like a unicorn style plate really cool images along here kind of like 
paint swipes. Love that because that looks like snow or fairy dust. That little mason jar. I love, love, love so, so very much. It has a little, I don't know if you can see, I had to look close, but it has waves and a little sailboat in it. And then the waves make a little heart and that's really cute. And then on this side has like a lot of geometric shapes. There's some crystals down here that will be fun, fun, fun to play around with. Some cactuses, flowers. Just a really cool plate. Love those palm trees. Can do so much with those palm trees. More unicorns. Love it. Really cool plate. So let's peel this blue film off. Sorry guys, there is glue on my nails. And sorry if it looks like there's so much on my, de well there is a lot on my desk. <laughs> At the moment, because we have so many polishes that we were playing with, my foils are out, my foils, glue, gel, that stuff is normally not out. None of this stuff is out. It's all normally put away, but for the moment, I think we are going to play around with this stamping plate. I might actually... You know what, before this plate, I think I'm going to try and fix my nail first. And I wanted to show you the nails that I did with the stamping because I am getting really comfortable with stamping now. So, like I said, this one is like an 8 stamp design. And this is right on top of gel. Oh, my finger's so much better, by the way. I don't know if you know, but I burnt the, I don't know what, out of my fingers. So you can tell here I burnt it. But it's getting better now. You can see it's drying, so it's getting better. I had to use some antibiotics, but we are much better now. So I don't know if you can see this, guys. But again, it's over gel. This stamp, I... I would have to take out the plate again because I just cleaned it and put it away, but I would have to show you guys the stamps if you'd like to see how I came up with this design, but I love both of them. Like I said, this was an eight stamp design here. This was a stamp. The bird was a stamp. The butterfly was a stamp. There's two gra um, patterns of grass. The tree branch was a stamp. The clouds were a stamp. So anyway, so I've been having a lot of fun with stamping. So before I stamp, I think that I want to fix my little nail really quickly. Earlier, I already got it on the cuticle. I just need to bring it down a little bit and apply some more gel. So you are going to do that with me. All right, so let me put this to the side. Close my drawer. Hello. Forgot to take out my... I'm show you guys a little trick because normally I can't take the sanding band off when I'm done. The sanding band off of my bit. So I do a little trick so I don't damage my little bit. But I have my drill right here under my desk. It's being held under my desk and I just turn it on and adjust my speed. Might be too fast. And it is, so we'll slow it down. Since this is a new sanding band, my other one that I was using earlier today needed to be changed, so I had my drill way too high. You never want your drill that high. So, guys, if you can see, I'm just... Can you tell what I'm doing here? I'm just... Going back and forth in the same direction. Make sure that you have a good grip on your your nail. And as you can see, see from the side what I'm doing. Literally what I'm doing, I'm feathering. I'm not holding it on there. I'm feathering my nail. Okay, that is all that I wanted to do. 
I like this drill because you can set it left or right. And I think that I'm going to change the direction. No, it needs to be. We don't need it anymore. Anymore. Take my little dust brush. Dust my little nail. Make sure there's no more dust, dirt, oils, or anything before we apply our gel. I'm going to take my gel brush. Sorry, guys, there's so much in the way here. I need to, I don't know where I put my little trash bin, um, so I need to figure out where I put that so I can put it back because I need it. Okay, this is the gel that I'm using at the moment. Off to the side is my lamp. Kind of zoomed in just a little so you guys can see what I'm doing here. This is what I do for my fills, so I'm going to take... A little bit of gel. Let me turn up my light a little bit. Adjust it so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. Sorry about that. Take a generous bead of gel. Right? And we are going to, not at the cuticle guys, not all the way up here, but kind of right where my fill needs to go, I'm going to kind of feather the gel back and forth, kind of like a windshield wiper. Back and forth, back and forth, all the way down until I get to the end, and I'm going to cap the end. I'm not going to stop there, though. I'm still going to push up near my cuticle, but not touching my cuticle, and I'm going to brush down, because what's going to happen is you're going to have probably extra gel that's going to come off of your brush, and you want to do this in really thin layers. So that is that layer, and we are going to... Something got caught. I think that's <laughs> eyelash glue right under my nail. I got to get it. But I'm going to put this on an LED light. Make sure that I cover my gel before I cure it. And I will be right back. I love fills because they're so much easier to do, right? So now, since we have some gel on our brush, we are going to apply some more gel. And instead of going... In the direction that we are going, I'm now going to push up on my cuticle, but I am not touching my cuticle just yet. I'm just pushing up on it, just pushing up on it and bringing my gel down once again. And pay attention to your shape because the more gel you add, the thicker your nail is going to be, obviously, but you need to pay attention to your shape because your shape can change very very quickly so maintain the shape that you have as you're applying your gel you don't want to get too thick on either side and of course we're going to hand file when we're done look how long my nails have gotten i got to get that gel it's bothering me and then i got to do my thumb and i'm going to work on these too but i'm just slowly doing my nails and i thought i would take you guys along with me so let me just cure this really quickly okay so this is what we have. I am going to repeat the same exact thing that I did, except this time we are going to touch right under the cuticle. We are never, ever, ever touching the skin. If we do touch the skin, remove it before you put it in the lamp because whatever, first of all, you can develop an allergy. And second of all, you do not want to cure that gel on your skin because whatever you have on your nail or on your skin before you get into the light that's where it's going to stay so this nail is really make sure i cap that free edge i have a little bit of unevenness on this nail so i'm going to fix that but i'm going to cure this really quick okay so removing the adhesion layer off of my nail, this is acetone alcohol mix that I have made. It is a great gel cleanser. 
I just take it. I don't just rub it off and that's it. I really scrub the nail, guys. Really scrub it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Probably shouldn't get this on my skin, but it doesn't bother me. Just be careful. And then I just check to see if it's still tacky or sticky. And it's not. It's not at all. See that shine? And it's not, it's not sticky. So now we are going to remove that shine because I eventually am going to want to do some sort of design. So actually, I'm just going to leave it right there for now until I finish the other nails. What I am going to do is I am going to do a little bit of a shape. So I just quickly just reshaped it again. And that's all you're going to do is just shape it back into the shape in which you had before. Right? And that's it. That is my fill. Something got trapped under my nail. I don't know what it was and I can't get it. And so probably I take these off. I don't know how that happened. But with a design on top, I probably won't see that. So that is that. And then I have to take this gel off and um, fill these. But I started with this hand. So this hand is done except for my thumb. I have to... Actually, my thumb is not so grown out yet. So I may just leave it like that for a while. But definitely this hand, I need to see all that growth there. So I definitely need to do this hand. But anyways, let's see. What else? Do I'm trying to think if I have to share anything with you guys. I mean, I feel like I'm always having to share something with you guys. Other than just needing to clean up my area. I was going to do stamping with you guys today. But maybe not. I have so much on my mind. So many things going on. So many things happening. And I just feel like I have so much on my brain that sitting down at my nail desk and doing my nails. Um, oh, bracelets. That's what I wanted to tell you guys. Look out because I am going to be planning on maybe, I don't know about selling, but probably making these exact bracelets. I am in love with these bracelets. You can tell I'm always wearing these. I did have a ring that had my name on it that I got um, by the beach. A few years ago now and I love that specific you know how when you go to the beach there's people that sell jewelry and make jewelry handmade well that's exactly what I want to do so I want to make bracelets just like this so stay tuned for that because I am going to be making bracelets just like this so if you like bracelets like these then stay tuned because that's definitely something that I'm going to be getting into probably by the end of the month I will be, um, be getting into that excuse me so stay tuned for that but that's it I think that's all I have for you guys I still am struggling to kind of find a storage area for my new glitter and mixes and things so I pretty much just put them back in the box that they came in but that's not going to be like that for long because I definitely need a better storage so that's something that I have to figure out as well I need to clean up this desk put everything away finish up my nails don't know if I'm going to do that today I mean may do that tomorrow finish these up and yeah I definitely need to do them because they're growing out if you can tell guys definitely growing out I need to or I wanted to review this plate but I guess we won't do it today we'll do it another day but I really wanted to show you guys the foil I really have been like really getting the foil down packed as you can see that there, so that's foil under gel on top, and then I stamped on top of that, and that was a lot of fun. So that's something that I have been playing around with. So guys, thank you guys for watching. I am always appreciating it. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe down below. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure that you hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time that I create another video. And make sure that when you hit the notification bell, that you click the word all so you can be notified of all of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. You stay safe out there. Bye.